Hello Tri Enthusiasts, my name is James and a lot has changed since I made my original Top 5 Bosses video over a year ago. It's now currently update version 1.3 and we now have all these new expert mode variants of bosses. So this list will actually comprise of normal mode bosses and expert mode bosses. So for example one of them could be the Queen Bee or it could be the expert mode version. I'm treating them as two separate bosses. So I hope that makes things clear and let's begin. Five. So coming up in the number 5 slot is actually the one that got my number 1 spot in the original list. It's the Eater of Worlds. Now I ranked this one really really highly because I love the sound, I think it's so satisfying and since then I've actually just become a little bit numb to it. I think that the new challenging variants of bosses are actually kind of cramming this one down the list. Although I think it's a really good fight and I still really enjoy it for my friends when you have lots of people just swarming to attack this guy, it's awesome. Four. Now in the number 4 slot there's actually an expert mode variant and it's the Eye of Cthulhu. Now the Eye of Cthulhu for me was one of the most easiest bosses ever, it's the first boss I could ever do a flawless kill on and that's where you have like no armor, no health and you never get hit. But it's it's new, it's fresh and in expert mode it's actually got this big revamp with this new killer phase at the end and it's actually really challenging again. I really like it, I think that the sounds are really awesome and I think that it's kind of scary when it like starts to go into that third phase or whether you would call it the second half of the second phase, but I think it's really awesome and I think it's a really good twist on a really classic enemy. Three. Now in the number 3 slot is one that didn't actually even make it to my original list, it's the King Slime. Now I'm going to talk about the King Slime being a little bit different because of its placement in the game now. You see the King Slime was a very optional boss, you could craft the, like, the slime crown and you could, uh, you, know, you could go out to the end of the world and you could fight it, or you could wait in the third half of your world and wait for it to spawn on its own, but now it actually spawns at the end of the slime event. So if you're a new character and you've got this brand new King Slime spawning, you're going to freak out a little bit, and I love that. That's why the King Slime has been revamped in my list, because he's been revamped itself. He's got a new look and I think that's really great, he has a new attack pan and he also teleports around and I really like that. I do really like that he's been actually woven into the game now, he's not kind of one of them sub bosses that you can fight if you want. And I really like that because in my original playthroughs I used to just skip over him completely and now I want to kill him for that slime mount. So he gets up in the list. <coughs> now in the number 2 slot is actually the Moon Lord. Now the Moon Lord has not lost hype for me yet, he is the definitive addition to 1.3. He's bloody awesome, he's huge. Now he's one of my favourite bosses because for one he just has that wow factor. He has this really long build up of you know you have to kill the cultists and then the celestial event and then you have the moon lord and I remember my first time killing this thing, I have it on video, it's awesome and I'll never forget that and that's why it's ranked so highly for me. He actually got a big buff in the recent patch and I quite like that. I like that they're making him a little bit more challenging because he is the final boss and before he was a bit of a win. But I really like him and I'm glad that he's been added to the game and he definitely deserves the number 2 slot. One. Now in the number 1 slot is actually really surprising if you know me well. It's the expert brain of Cthulhu. So I am known for going on record by saying I don't like the brain of Cthulhu, I think he's, uh, I don't know. But this new expert mode variant is actually insanely challenging and fun. I really love the ghost mechanic that was added in 1.3 and he's just badass now, like I, I think that he, he deserves that extra damage buff and I think that he deserves this new attack because before I didn't really like him because I thought that you could basically just fluke him with a rotted fork, however now it's a little bit more challenging and I really like that. It's a very good variant and out of all the bosses that have received an expert mode variant, I think his is the most satisfying. So that's about it for today's top 5 video, let me know what your top 5 bosses are in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video make sure to click subscribe, that way you can get more top 5 videos straight to your homepage every single week that I'll be doing these and I can't wait to redo some of my old ones because obviously I'm redoing one from a prior update. As we transition into 1.3 I can cover all the new weapons, you know, some of the worst weapons, the best armour, the bosses, the wings, the magic weapons, oh it's all going to be great. So thank you for watching, my name is James, peace.